more and more often now, I come across people who have lost their faith in Agile. They tell me that they've tried really hard to apply Agile principles and really change the way they are working, and it's just not doing anything for them. They are frustrated. They might encounter the same old problems, or maybe they're encountering new problems, but the point is it doesn't seem to actually move the needle for them. And I argue that this is because there is a very unfortunate tendency for organizations to cargo cult agile, to apply agile ceremonies and, and approaches without actually having understood the heart of agility, which is about setting yourself up to gather feedback and to work with it. You know, you're sort of just hurtling along. And if you're going fast in a straight line, then eventually you will hit a brick wall and it tends to happen that the brick wall wins. So instead, you should set yourself up to move a short distance, look around, move a short distance, look around. And that is just much more difficult than appointing somebody to be a scrum master or setting up a bi-weekly retrospective. The important thing is what happens at the retrospective. Are you talking about the right things? Are you drawing the right conclusions? Are you drawing any conclusions in the first place? Because if that happens, then I don't think Agile can fail you. Because if you try something and you notice it doesn't work, and you enable yourselves to react to this discovery and, you know, do something different, then you're being agile, whatever you call it. And then you will eventually find success. Maybe your first attempts will not be perfect yet and you will need to make changes. That's all fine. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's, you know, it's completely expected. Would be surprising if you pulled everything off perfectly the first time around. Of course you won't. So the important thing is to allow yourself even to observe what's going on and to draw conclusions. So once more, I, I, I'm completely sympathetic to those of you who feel sort of disenfranchised by Agile and they say, you know, it, it didn't live up to its promise. We tried really hard and it didn't work. I completely believe you. I completely believe you. So many people have had that experience, unfortunately, and they and I wish they hadn't. <sighs> But this is the hard thing about the Agile Manifesto, right? It's got 12 principles, but the difficult thing about the 12 principles are the 500 pages worth of implicit knowledge that's written down between the lines of the 12 principles. So if you are among those people who have sort of lost faith in Agile, that I, then please know that I'm completely sympathetic with you. Um, and that I completely understand where you're coming from. Uh, I wish you would give it another shot. Uh, this time, you wouldn't make it about, you know, scrum masters and, uh, and product owners. And instead, you would make it about creating feedback loops, gathering feedback, and giving yourself permission to act on it, whatever you discover.